The Sara and other diseases were devastating to Egypt. The moraine killed all Egypt's cattle. All the fish in the River Nile and in the waters of Egypt died from the bloody dust. Though not stated, the effect on the human population of Egypt must have been equally ruinous. The Lord intimated that if he had let the pestilence run its course, Egypt would have been wiped from the face of the earth. The only reason that God let Pharaoh and his people survive was that God wanted his power and name known throughout the world. Egypt was not the only target for God's power and message. The pestilence of Egypt will return at the second coming. The red dust of Mars will again cause sores, boils, and death. Just as Pharaoh hardened his heart against the power of God, so will man when faced with the same power and with the same deadly consequences. Jesus Christ repeatedly warned of great calamities that will strike the world at his latter day return. Among these desolations will be a pestilence. When Moroni visited Joseph Smith four times in one night, on the second visit, the messenger repeated the Savior's warnings of great judgments that would come. Pestilence was one of them. These warnings were intended to inform righteous saints so they could prepare and survive. The pestilence will be a desolating sickness which will cover the earth, but the Lord's disciples will save themselves by standing in holy places. The Lord has repeatedly warned the saints that they would need to gather to holy places to protect themselves from what is coming, the harvest and burning of the world. The harvest refers to the gathering of the saints before the day of the Lord when the field will be burned by the Lord's angels.
the righteous must be first gathered and separated from the wicked as the wheat is separated from the tares. They must be gathered to safe, holy places, apart from the field that is to be burned. The Apostle John saw the reaping of the earth in his apocalyptic vision.